They named the best restaurant in Calgary in 2016. Chef Duncan Lee is entering 2017 with a new concept. It's called Foreign Concept, sharing a modern Asian soup recipe with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. And congratulations. Thank you. Uh, this is a really nice evolution for you as a chef. And tell us a little bit about the decision for you to open your own space. You know, opening my own restaurant is like, you know, every, every other chef or a lot of chefs dreams that, you know, you want to own your own restaurant one day. And, mm -hmm. you know, since I started cooking, that was always my plan. And, you know, I kind of woke up one morning and thought, hey, you know, am I going to make this thing happen or am I just going to keep, keep kind of rolling along with what I'm doing? And, right. you know, it was, it was time to either do it or not, I guess. Yes. So. Yeah, and so. the concept is foreign concept, yeah. which is uh, your take on Asian cuisine. Yeah, so you know we're we're kind of tagging it as alternative Asian cuisine, and the foreign concept comes from you know we're taking uh, different flavors from Asia, and uh, you know Chinese, Thai, Vietnamese, and we're adding our own little modern cooking techniques to it. Good. Okay, we get to see some of these techniques today. Yeah. So what are we putting together? Yeah. So we're, you know this is a very typical dish in our approach to uh, the food at foreign concept. So what we've done here is we've taken a traditional, you know, Thai papaya salad, mm -hmm. but we've kind of brought in that Canadian element and some different techniques to it. So uh, what we've done is we've added a little bit of butternut squash. Right. So we julienne the squash. And, you know, same kind of textures and flavors you would get in, the, in the, a traditional uh, Thai papaya salad. Is that squash raw? No. It, well, it's lightly raw. Got so it. it's been cooked and then, or sorry, it's been cut and then lightly blanched because we want to keep the texture of it. Some beautiful carrots. And then we're, we're going to add a little bit of papaya as well too. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a little bit of pickled carrots here. So we've added here. And in terms of the menu creation for you, how did you pull everything together and, and draw on your own influences and then bring it into yeah. 2017? You know. Foreign concept really was was thought about as you know I really wanted to um, uh, pay tribute to kind of my Asian roots of being born in Vietnam, mm -hmm. coming from an, our Vietnamese mom and a Chinese father, but growing up in Canada as well too. So for me, it was trying to bring those two worlds together. Mm -hmm. So you know, taking a dish, a classic dish like this, and then kind of bringing that um, that Canadian element into it with the squash. And, and the different techniques that we're going to do. Things so I'm just going to mix this up. Yeah, yeah, so kind of bringing in that flavor. This is a, a Thai style uh, dressing. So it's made from fish sauce, palm sugar, and a bit of tamarind. It's kind of got that sweet, salty Yum. flavor. OK, so I've got my little salad here. And as you mix that up, what did it mean to you to earn the title for uh, best restaurant, best new restaurant in Calgary in 2016? You, you just made the deadline. Yeah, we just made it. You know what? It means a lot. Obviously, opening a restaurant is, is never easy. And, um, you know, you put a lot on the line and, and, and you put a lot of hard work and a lot of sacrifices made and sort of to get rewarded and recognized for it is definitely really, really huge. Mm -hmm. A nice start for you, too. Yeah. So this is kind of when we talk about modern techniques and stuff we do this and then bring in that Canadian element. This is Alberta trout that we've actually made a floss out of it. So it's mm. almost like a cotton candy, like almost. So we've taken the trout and we've marinated it in soy and ginger and then we lightly cook it and then we pound it to kind of get it nice and fluffy and light and then we dry it out so it kind of creates a little pretty uh, color yeah it's a little floss we call it and then we've taken also a bit of coconut as well too and we've uh, shredded it dried it mm -hmm. and then we grated in galangal to it which is a type of um, ginger but it's got it's got a little it's a little stronger than your regular ginger right so we've dried it and then uh, you know that's going to add a little bit of sweetness and some seasoning to it. So that those are the kind of modern techniques um, that we play around with to sort of add that foreign element because obviously you wouldn't get a salad like this in Thailand. Right. And, and then as you do, yeah. you make things pretty. And you know, we're just going to garnish it with a little bit of extra herbs, add some colors. Look at that. And that is our Thai style butternut squash salad. It is a work of art. Thank you so much for preparing this for us and congratulations Thank to you, you already on your success one month into business and we wish you continued success into 2017.